Says Piano. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to play the chord accompaniment part to My Two's Ricochet by Taylor Swift. So I will be doing some singing, I'll sing each section. It's fairly repetitious, um, this will be a good one if you're um, more of a beginner standard because it's in the key of C major. So it just uses all the white notes, the chords are formed using the notes of that scale. So I've been very specific about the inversions of the chords, so not all the chords are played in root position every single time, just so it tries to make it sound as much like what's on the track as possible. If you are interested in the full chords and lyrics, I have left those in the description in the comments below, so go and check those out if you find those useful. She does sing very low in this one, I just can't quite get there, so I will have to modify it um, with my voice ever so slightly. It starts with this like, a cappella singing. I will show you how it sounds in this sound as well, which um, there's no piano in it, it's, it's more of an electric piano sound. So if you have an electric piano and you've got a similar sound, and then it would be fun to experiment with different sounds. But I'll teach it in the piano sound, but I'll demonstrate both. So here is middle C, piano, here is middle C for reference. So you can see I have positioned my camera a little bit on the lower end. So we'll look at the intro first, where we've got the... So it kind of goes through a run through of that first, it's like a round of voices. And then the chords fade in, the electric piano sound fades in. So basically, if you wanted to just play the piano part straight away with the vocals, also to help you pitch it with your voice as well, um, you do this chord progression three times. So it's A minor, so A in the left hand, A, C, E, in the right hand. So you can play that for two beats, just holding it, holding it down. One, two, you're then gonna move that shape down one to G major. So G, B, D for two beats. Move that shape down again to E minor. So E, G, B, and then move that up one to F major, which is F, A, C. So I'll do that again, A minor, G major, E minor, F major, do it two more times. where you um, continue that chord progression four more times. So I'm going to demonstrate it from the, be the beginning now. And now we're into the chorus. Hi there, just quickly before we continue, if you are enjoying the video so far, please consider hitting that like button and say hi in the comments section below. If you're brand new here, please consider subscribing, you know where the button is, and make sure to hit that notifications bell so you're notified every time I upload a new tutorial and you can be the first to learn. I've left a load of playlists in the description as well to get you started. I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorial and let's continue. 
So the chorus is the only other chord progression you're going to need to know. And then that's the all of the parts for the whole song. But of course, I'll show you all and sing to you all the different parts as well, so you can see how it relates. So the chorus, we've got a C major. If you're able to stretch octaves and you want to start playing octaves to help amp it up a bit for the chorus, then go for it. But if not, just play singular notes, like maybe the lowest one. So we have C major second inversion. So it's G, C, and E. So, so far we've only had root position chords where you're moving your hand a lot. Whereas this one is voiced like this. So C major. And then you're going to move that shape up to D minor second inversion. So that's A, D, F. And then to A minor. So just going to bring those notes in. So A, C, E, how we've played it before. And then we've got F major. So all you're going to do is move your little finger to F. And that gives you first inversion of F major. So I'll do that again. you repeat this four times. twice on the beat and just repeating the odd left hand note just to help amp that part up a little bit and then there's like a post chorus so you just play that chord progression one more time so i'll just demonstrate that now with the um, electric piano sound on my piano it says soft ep i think it's the closest one i have it's not exact but it's pretty close i didn't have it in myself to go with grace because when i to the second verse so back to the first chord progression again we gather stars never knowing what they'll be some to swirl some to make a diamond ring you know I didn't want to have to haunt you but what a ghostly scene you wear the same chill Straight into the chorus, which is the same as the first chorus. I didn't have it in myself to go with grace. Cause when I find you used to tell me I was brave. And if I'm dead to you, why are you at the wake? to the bridge so you repeat that chorus chord progression um, another four times and I can go anywhere I want anywhere I want just not home and you can aim for my heart go for blood but you would still miss me in your bones and I still talk to you when I'm screaming
now while she sings that high note. Then it's into the chorus, but um, you just play this bit higher up, up here, just in the right hand. I didn't have it in myself to go with grace And so the battleships will sink beneath the waves You had to kill me but it killed you all the same Cursing my name, wishing I'd stayed You turned into your worst progression just till it fades. If you didn't want to fade it, obviously you could end it to make it sound finished. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.